one of the presently commonly prominent physicists Mito Kaku, has discussed his evaluation concerning this issue. Kaku, known for his shocking commitments to the field of physical science, has, as of late, recognized that the James Webb Space Telescope has found six huge, endless frameworks that scientists once thought couldn't exist. These evaluations have the potential to open up new viewpoints in our progressing enthusiasm for the universe. It is, therefore, spellbinding and worth noticing out for these progressions. Kaku is a remarkable figure in the logical field, a physicist of American and Japanese legacy. He is seen as a master in both conventional exploratory physical science and quantum mechanics. Not at all like some more moderate and dubious specialists, Kaku doesn't have a place with that bunch. He has been open to the astounding new discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. We are appreciative that this recognized specialist has chosen to end his silence and directly offer what can no longer be denied. The energy and excitement of the renowned physicist are clear in his comments on the disclosures made by the James Webb Space Telescope, considering that this has been the element that has ignited his interest. Go along with us to explore the implications of Mito Kaku's revelation of these six colossal endless frameworks. Kaku is a specialist who has forever had the ability to mull over new hypotheses throughout his life. He understands that Einstein's hypotheses of relativity and Newton's regulations are inadequate to capture the full intricacy of the universe. Kaku perceives that the disclosures of the new telescope might actually move along the logical field, albeit a large number of his partners have not had the ability to embrace this view. It is causing concern and fretfulness among protectors and pundits of quantum mechanics. Regardless, this only invites laughter from Kaku. The JWST has revealed the discovery of six tremendous universes, tracing all the way back to the earliest stories of the universe. Each of these grandiose frameworks contains more stars than our own, notwithstanding having formed just a short time after the Big Bang. The group of cosmologists who made the discovery has named these sublime frameworks universe breakers, as their presence would change our whole comprehension of the universe. Something here no longer fits with the theory of the Big Bang, which tells us that the universe was a war zone after the initial event. The first strong objects required countless years to form, and it took even more years for objects to reach a valuable density and produce light. The advancement of complex structures like universes should have happened much later. Some of the newly found frameworks outperformed the Milky Way in size, and their enormous brilliance shows that they were likely forming some new stars consistently, while our world forms stars only irregularly. It remains muddled precisely when the first universe is formed. Researchers have been unable to decide this until recently. The only thing that is clear is that, initially, there might have been just single stars or gatherings of stars that, in the end, came together to form continuously bigger structures, eventually leading to the arrangement of dwarf galaxies, which blended and gradually grew as past hypotheses had anticipated. Unquestionably, gigantic and enormous worlds proved incapable of existing around then, which raises the question of whether the universe is a lot older than recently recognized, or whether complex toroidal designs were formed significantly sooner than previously thought. This present circumstance is trying for traditional science, which still struggles with this model. Additionally, some areas of physical science have strongly dismissed this revelation, highlighting possible errors in the age calculations. Kaku was aware of this and had this to say, There are many examples of old and deluding hypotheses that persist because of the prominence of certain analysts. Many of these hypotheses were eventually disproven when key research uncovered their false ideas. Subsequently, the key work in any science, especially in physics, rests with the experimentalists who maintain the integrity of the research. Indeed, on Earth, we have virtually no data on the true beginnings of the universe. The theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation was formed in 1927 in view of observations of the universe's expansion. This led to the conclusion that the universe began from a single point and has been expanding ever since. At the time, it was hard for people and researchers to imagine a universe with a beginning and an end. The possibility of a universe that had always existed and was boundless in time was beyond human imagination. Even today, researchers still face challenges in comprehending it. However, it is pivotal to rethink these possibilities. These new insights do not fit at all with what researchers have relied on for a long time in the Big Bang theory. However, 
science has shown time and again that reassessment and openness to it are crucial to pivotal ideas and parts of the scientific process, as much as the validation of specific hypotheses and observations. When Einstein was a young man, it was believed that the stars and planets were firmly fixed in the universe, and these particular designs occupied a defined space. However, we now understand that everything in the universe is moving. Planets orbit stars, stars move within their galaxies at different kilometers per second, and whole galaxies move rapidly through the universe, the destiny of which we can't yet predict. Today, researchers are challenged to accept uncomfortable discoveries, and it is understood that theories are not just assumptions or simple pieces of insight until they are fully tested or confirmed by precise observations. The possibility of the Big Bang arose out of the affirmation that galaxies are escaping from each other, and this distance is proportional to the separation from Earth. This observation, known as Hubble's Law, proposed that the universe was expanding. For many years, parts like cosmic microwave background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies and other cosmological designs seemed to support this hypothesis. Anyway, it is important to remember that, before, people who misrepresented the Earth as flat and believed the Sun orbited the Earth also had this kind of proof for their doubts, until events or technological advancements provided a clearer and more accurate picture. Right now, we are seeing a similar situation. Researchers predicted the new JWST to confirm the assumptions related to the Big Bang. However, instead, they have encountered the six frameworks that appear very advanced for their age. This reminds us that science is continuously evolving and that researchers must be open to new discoveries and reevaluate existing hypotheses based on available evidence. Specialists use redshift as a tool to determine specific measurements in the study of the universe. Redshift, also known as the Doppler effect, refers to the change in the color of light as the light source and the observer move relative to each other. To understand this, you can imagine stopping and listening to a car coming toward you. As the car approaches, you hear the engine grow louder. However, once the car passes you or moves away, the engine sound changes. This is because the sound changes as the car moves. The same is true for light. When a light source, for example, a distant star, moves toward us, the light we see shifts toward blue tones. Alternatively, when the light source moves away from us, the light shifts toward redder hues. This phenomenon is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into speed, velocities, and distances for measuring totals in the study of the universe. However, it is important to note that small errors in these measurements can have huge implications. The measurement methods previously used are now under review, and the results that specialists will arrive at concerning the latest discoveries related to our universe are intriguing, considering whether these results are truly based on redshift errors or whether some specialists are simply denying the facts. This is a question that requires intensive assessment and careful investigation of the data and procedures used in the study. As scientific inquiry advances, the discoveries made by instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope frequently challenge our assumptions about the universe. The new discovery of six huge, boundless frameworks, tracing all the way back to the early stages of the universe, is one such example. These frameworks, which challenge conventional theories of galaxy formation, raise critical questions about the timeline and processes involved in the development of large structures. The James Webb Space Telescope, a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, is equipped with cutting-edge technologies that enable it to peer further into space with rare clarity. Its ability to detect light from the farthest reaches of the universe provides astronomers with a window into the past, allowing them to study galaxies that formed billions of years ago. The discovery of these ancient and large galaxies challenges existing models, which predict that such large structures should have formed much later in the universe's history. The implications of these discoveries extend beyond cosmology and into the realm of fundamental physics, compelling researchers to reevaluate established theories about the early universe, including the theory of the universe's origin, which states that the universe began from a single point and has been expanding ever since. While observational evidence like the cosmic microwave background radiation and the redshift of distant galaxies initially supported this theory, the discovery of galaxies that appear very developed for their age complicates this narrative. Mito Kaku, a prominent physicist known for his work in theoretical physics and popular science, has commented on these developments. Kaku, known for his ability to connect complex scientific ideas with public explanations, 
recognizes the significant potential of the JWST discoveries. Unlike some of his more skeptical colleagues, Kaku embraces the idea that heavy observations should prompt corrections in scientific thinking. He has emphasized the importance of precise evidence in shaping our understanding of the universe, highlighting that theories must constantly evolve to accommodate new information. The debate sparked by these discoveries reflects the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry. On one hand, there are supporters who argue that the discovery of early, massive galaxies suggests a longer timeline for cosmic evolution than previously thought. This viewpoint challenges the traditional view that galaxies evolve slowly over billions of years through mergers and the gradual development of smaller objects. On the other hand, critics caution against discarding established models based on limited observational data. They advocate for a cautious approach, suggesting that anomalies in data interpretation or measurement errors could explain the extraordinary discoveries. Redshift, a phenomenon observed in the light emitted by distant galaxies, plays a key role in these investigations. As galaxies move away from Earth, the light they emit shifts toward longer wavelengths, a phenomenon known as redshift. By measuring the degree of redshift in a galaxy spectrum, astronomers can infer its distance from Earth and its velocity relative to our own universe. This information is critical for building models of galaxy formation and understanding the distribution of galaxies throughout the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to detect faint infrared signals allows it to observe galaxies that are otherwise obscured by dust and gas in the early universe. This capability is crucial for studying the formation of stars and galaxies during the universe's earliest stages, a period known as the cosmic dawn. By analyzing the light emitted by these distant galaxies, astronomers can trace the chemical composition of the early universe and gain insights into the processes that led to the formation of the first stars and galaxies. Moreover, beyond its galactic implications, the discovery of these early massive galaxies raises philosophical questions about the nature of scientific progress and human understanding. Over time, scientific principles have shifted based on new discoveries and observations. What once seemed impossible or too speculative to establish as theories eventually becomes accepted as new evidence emerges. This iterative process of theory, observation, and revision is essential for the advancement of knowledge in all scientific fields. The idea of a paradigm shift, as described by philosopher Thomas Kuhn, represents the significant change that occurs when anomalies in existing theories prompt a major reassessment of scientific principles. The discovery of early massive galaxies urges cosmologists to reconsider their understanding of galaxy formation and the processes that led to the galaxies we observe today. It underscores the importance of remaining open to revolutionary ideas and revising theories based on experimental evidence. Cosmologists and astrophysicists are also grappling with the implications of these discoveries for our understanding of dark matter and dark energy. These elusive components, which together account for a significant portion of the universe's mass and energy content, play a crucial role in shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. The distribution of galaxies and the rate of cosmic expansion are influenced by the gravitational effects of dark matter, while dark energy is believed to drive the accelerated expansion of the universe. The discovery of early massive galaxies places new constraints on theoretical models of dark matter and dark energy, prompting researchers to refine their understanding of these mysterious phenomena. In the realm of theoretical physics, the discovery of early massive galaxies has sparked renewed interest in alternative cosmological models. Some theorists propose modifications to the standard cosmological model, such as the introduction of additional dimensions or changes to the laws of gravity, to account for the observed anomalies. These theoretical ideas challenge physicists to explore new avenues of inquiry and develop novel theoretical frameworks that can accommodate both established observations and emerging data. The JWST discoveries also have practical implications for future space exploration and the development of advanced galactic instruments. By pushing the boundaries of observational capabilities, the telescope provides valuable insights into the technical challenges of studying distant galaxies and other large-scale phenomena. It serves as a testament to human creativity and the collaborative efforts of scientists, engineers, and technicians who design, build, and operate cutting-edge space observatories. Looking forward, astronomers expect further discoveries from the JWST that will continue to reshape our understanding of the universe.
future observations may reveal additional early massive galaxies, shedding light on the diversity of large structures and the processes that govern their evolution. These discoveries will inform ongoing efforts to unravel the mysteries of cosmic evolution and deepen our fascination with the intricate dance of physical forces that shape the universe. In conclusion, the discovery of early massive galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope represents a significant milestone in our exploration of the universe's origins and evolution. It challenges existing theories, raises new questions, and highlights the dynamic nature of scientific discovery. Mito Kaku's perspective on these developments emphasizes the importance of embracing uncertainty and remaining open to groundbreaking revelations as humanity continues to probe the mysteries of the universe. Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the vast tapestry that surrounds us.